Bluffin! <laughs> Hi guys. Today I'm working with my dad and my grandpa. So my dad showed up because I'm Kevin by myself because Lincoln's down at State Wrestling and this is what he showed up with. Okay, Doug. Looks like a party. Now we get to go to the cat. Cool. So I am standing at the main entrance to the barn. This front door here goes out to the what we call the west lot. That's where all the cows are or the heifers are tonight. <laughs> And I thought I'll just kind of walk you guys through our setup and uh, show you what it looks like during a during a storm. Usually we don't, hopefully, fingers crossed, we don't have this many in here all the time. Uh, we'd like to calve them out in the pasture, but right now the quite a few in here. All right, so from the front door, there's the calf sled. That's what I use to bring calves up here. In the perfect world, their moms follow them. That isn't always the case and there's the warmer that I just bought and when they get good and dry I move them over to this warmer it's just got a heat lamp in it it's just a fiberglass hut uh, these are horse pens there's five horse pens here uh, coming in here this is where we keep alfalfa cubes and the horse grain we feed the feed these heifers alfalfa cubes and cake while they're in the barn here. This pen here is the tub, that's what we call it. There's one pair in here. I don't know if you can see the calf or not, but 45 pairs in there. You come through here. I've got three cabin pens here and there's a pair in each one of those. Right here's our pulling setup. Everything that has to come into the barn to get pulled or suckled or anything comes right there. They come from back here, this back alley. I got a pair back here right now. And so this gate goes back and around the corner to the west lot where everything is. So we bring them into the west lot, in through the corrals there, in through this gate through this wood gate here and then we'll walk them up catch them in the head catch or if they're just a pair that kind of needs taken care of and doesn't need pulled or suckled we'll run them straight through and stick them in a pen and then so there's these three pens that we call one two three and then i can also switch the gates and run them into here and these pens are called abc there's one pair in the back there. And then I've got seven pairs out here in this, what we call the 4-H pen. There's just an alfalfa bale out there with the pairs that come out of the barn. We, we stick them out there for just a couple days just to make sure that their moms are actually gonna take care of them. And then uh, from there, we move them out to pasture. There's a, she actually is taking care of her calf, but we stay away from her as best as we can. That's what all this plywood's for, and she's not friendly. Yeah, so, just kind of try to give her lots of space. She takes, she does take care of her calf. Sometimes they settle down, you get them in with the cows and get her out of this barn and they settle down. But the bad thing is, is a lot of the times you have one wild one in your barn and she will make everything that comes through your barn wild. It's kind of contagious. So shut the lights off in here and hopefully she settles down. Well, it's supposed to be pretty cold again tonight. It was like 22 below zero last night and I kept them out in the pasture, but I had some heifers that calved and were kind of trying to steal each other's calves. Heifers do that quite a bit. No. If one calves and another one's about to calve, the one that's about to calve will maybe kind of try to steal the 
calf that's already born and so we kind of had some stuff going on last night and it's supposed to be cold again tonight so i brought them all up in here next to the barn and i'm gonna walk through them all night tonight and then tomorrow we'll kind of sort off all of our heifers that were giving us problems and get them in a different pasture so we'll keep a good eye on everything tonight and then starting tomorrow everything will be back out calving in the pasture again so we just had exactly what i was talking about there was one calved oh yesterday morning uh 68 and she was full blown ninja and we couldn't quite get her up here to the barn so that she's part of the reason i was bringing everything up here is she was trying to steal everybody else's calves so i got her calf is in this little lot with her and 85 she's kind of got a little string hanging out and she'll probably calve tonight but she tried taking care of this 85 so we had to grab that 85 calf and i threw him in the the warmer box here and he'll probably i'll probably end up feeding him myself and keeping him in that box tonight tomorrow when we sort we will catch that 68 and we'll get her in a smaller pen so she's kind of stuck with her own calf and see if we can get her to take him again we might have to use some oh there's some stuff called orphan no more powder that uh, we have pretty good luck with i don't know how everybody else does but we get we get by with it pretty good we might have to use that on her own calf because she's so used to taking care of other calves but i guess that's the game plan for now i don't know what time it is it's probably 10 o'clock or something and we check every two hours all all through calving so the next two months we're up every two hours all night checking myself my wife and we uh just just got a hired hand so it'll be it'll be good so my, son's, my son's bun calf two years ago Her name is bb she kind of caught up with the others and she's just starting to calf. There's two front feet and every once in a while you see a little bit of a nose. Can't tell yet if it's a baldy or not like her. We'll see. We'll come back and check on her here in about 15 or 20 minutes and see how it goes. So part that I skipped, here's the little pen that we use. This is our vet room here. I forgot to include it. But since since BB had her calf, we'll come in here. Sorry, it is not the cleanest vet room, but I'm gonna go give BB some of this Nutri Drench. I'm gonna give him 30 cc's or 30 milliliters of that, and uh, it kind of helps helps him get going. Gets kind of gets them some nutrition right off the bat and gets them up and going. Well, it did not take 15 minutes. I walked in the barn and did that little tour and here is Bebe's calf. It's a little baldy just like her. See if she's gonna take care of him. He doesn't have any, doesn't have a sack over his head or anything his lungs sound good they're not raspy if they're kind of raspy we'll run a straw up his nose and get him to cough the fluid out but he's pretty pretty good see if we can get his mama stood up so she can take care of him there you go mama come on beebs that a girl that a girl You want them to start licking them off right oh. away but heifers are not the best about it they're not very aggressive a cow will turn around and they'll have the calf and whip around and go to licking them off and they'll be dry in about five minutes but we'll see how she does if anybody's curious there's there's probably about 200 bred heifers in here he's so cute beebs yes You did a good job, Mama. 
Yes, you did a good job, Beebs. You're pretty cute. Look at that cute little butt. Let me see your face. Let me see your face. <laughs> You're so cute. He's cute, Mama. Good work. <laughs> Is that a bad dream? <laughs> you all right? Was that a scary dream? Today we are having a cow video. Like I said, sometimes I'll be ranting and I'll do videos, and here you have it the cows, their yearlings. So I think you might like it. I got home from state wrestling last night. Uh, we had a heavyweight in the finals, so we were the last, the last to wrestle. Um, he won, so we got a state champion for our little town here. But I got home. I left straight from there and drove straight home. And my father-in-law and my wife's cousin that I hired and uh, my wife were very, very busy while we were gone. And uh, so they did a hell of a job. So today I'm back home and we're hauling pears uh, into what we call the hill pasture. And we're hauling all the pears that they had in the barn over the weekend into this hill pasture. And uh, just kind of keeping an eye on them and making sure they are with their mothers and got lots of food and water and kind of baby them a little bit. So there's the gate. That's the calving pasture that the pickup and trailer is in. So I pull through that gate. We built a little pen here. <clears throat> I pull in there and I back up and we're just hauling five pairs at a time so they mother up fast. So in between, in between trips they mother up. Then when I come back down, I kick these pairs out into here where they've got alfalfa and bedding. Uh, it's been zero to 20 below, so it's supp supposed to be almost 60 by Tuesday. Today's Sunday, I think. So we, uh, I'm having Sheldon feed up on the hillside today because it's gonna be plenty muddy, I'm guessing, by this afternoon and tomorrow. So give these calves somewhere. Hopefully their moms take them up there and lay them on the hillside where it's dry and get them out of the mud down here. Today we're kind of just keeping an eye on everything. Uh, all this stuff that's kind of gone through the barn, they get scours. So we, not all of them, but the ones that get scours, we're doctoring and turning them out here, keep an extra close eye on all this stuff and go from there, I guess. Matt, what, what are we trying to do? <laughs> trying to push your bell. Push it where? Push it down the hill. Oh. There we go.
heavy bale. That was a really heavy bale, I would say. How heavy do you think? Look how much it did. And all the way down that hill? We might have to go unroll it a little bit more. Why? No, it didn't unroll all the way. They look happy though, don't they? Sometimes the sack like this is over their head. Their mom gets up right away. It's not a big deal.
get your babies pretty soon. Check on this calf and land down here next to this pond. All the water's melting. There wasn't water in this for quite a while, but now there is. I'm guessing, as hidden as he is, his mama tucked him here and she just hasn't come back yet. He looks pretty dang lively, but oh yeah. hey buddy. And any bets that's her coming to see what the heck I'm up to? I would about bet on it. Nothing to see here.